guys, welcome back to Retro Peace Theater. So we are in the land of Ooga Booga. And, uh... They're always falling to their death, apparently. This nice grave digger here is gonna help us up. Thank you, kind sir. So, this level is, it's a long one, so I'm not going to do a lot of the extra the funny stuff. Um, like, these headstones have some really funny stuff on them. Um, if you read them, I, I, I encourage you to get the game, read them, play the game. It, it's a good time. Nuts, nuts, nuts! This is going to take forever! I can't stand this rotten, worthless little shovel. Look at that, pathetic! Not enough dirt to suffocate a bug. <laughs> Not enough dirt to suffocate a bug. So, the game so far has been pretty lenient with uh, killing you. Um, except for this level, a lot of things can kill you here. He's one of the few characters that won't. Uh, hello, good fellow. Uh, thank you again. I wonder... <laughs> I love the tape measure. Okay, lady, I got your link. I can't start digging your grave until tomorrow, though. Sorry. We need to have a total of three conversations with him. We're going to have two right now. I don't need a grave just yet. Thanks to you, sir. Could you tell me if this is the land of Ooga Booga? Yeah, this is Ooga Booga. Pardon me for saying so, but isn't that shovel a little too small for the task at hand? You said it, lady. This is the wrong equipment for the job. Here, let me show you something. This here is a fully automatic, steam-driven, rat-powered grave-digging machine. I made it myself. Those rotten kids broke in, and they stole me power source. They took my rat. So there's going to be some back and forth that we need to do. Uh, you're going to see me go to the same screens a lot. So the kids that are up here in this, they'll kill you if they catch you. If you climb this web to get up there, there's a spider that comes up. She'll kill you. Um, we're going to go see one of the other harmless characters. You little fiend, get out of here. I love this whole aesthetic. Halloween is my favorite holiday. Um, I, I'm one of those guys that has Halloween decorations up year round. So. Yes? May I help you? Mm, hello. Uh, I am Rosella of Daventry. Uh, may I ask you a few questions? Certainly, Miss Rosella. Do come in. Quickly, please. Welcome to Ooga Booga, Miss Rosella. I am Dr. Mort Cadaver. Coroner, how may I help you? I'm seeking King Otark, ruler of the trolls. I've heard that he's been 
detained in this land. H have you heard anything about him? No, but I bet that wicked Malaysia is behind it, since she caused the destruction of our beloved ruler, Count Tepish. This land has slipped into chaos. The boogeyman thinks he owns the place, and those horrid kids have run amok. I'm afraid to go outside anymore. If they're just kids, can't you do something to stop them? I'm just the town doctor. I spend a great deal of time replacing limbs, reattaching noses, you know. But I could hold my own against those kids. Until last week, that is, uh, when I gave my spine away to a charming lady who'd fallen off a cliff. It seems that without a backbone, I can't stand up to anyone. <sighs> Oh, well, uh, excuse me, my dear. I must fill out some death certificates now. So the only thing, there's all kinds of stuff in here you can click on and look at, uh, but in the interest of time, I'm only going to click on the mouse, because this is funny. Oh, what's wrong with him? Oh, Mr. Nibbler here is in for an attitude adjustment. Hey, lady. Got any fava beans? Nice little Silence of the Lambs reference there. So now we're going to go back this way. And the path that I'm taking, I should be able to avoid any direct trouble. When we see the rope down like this, we can go up to the clubhouse because that means the kids aren't there. So I can go in this basket. However, if we stay up here too long, they will show up and then you die. There's two things I need up here. This is one. And we get a backbone. And I need this over here. If you click on this box, this is a jack-in-the-box with a monster that will kill you. Um, if you take the time to click on everything in the room that is clickable, the kids will come back and kill you. Never knows when she'll need a foot in a bag, especially in Ooga Booga land. So now we have a backbone, and we're going to go back and see Mr. Mort Cadaver. Come in, Miss Rosella. Excuse me, Miss Rosella. I'll be right with you. Now then, Mr. Bugbear, let's fix that broken heart of yours. If only broken hearts could be fixed with crazy glue and a staple gun. Oh, thank you, Dr. Cadaver. How nice of her. She opens the door for him. What can I do for you, Miss Rosella? We're going to give him his backbone back. Dr. Cadaver, I have a surprise for you. Oh, I am eternally grateful to you. 
I would like to repay you in some small way. Ah. Here, just what every young lady needs. A dear little pet to keep her company. I made him myself. Uh, thank you, Dr. Cadaver. And we have the weird pet, and what cracks me up is uh, fragile spare parts. Alright, we're going to come back and see him here in a little bit. Right now, we're going to go on a quest to help the gravedigger. So we need to go pay him a visit and have another conversation with him. Sir, couldn't you just get another rat for your machine? Nah, Iggy was trained special. Besides, there ain't no other rat as strong as Iggy. Or as smart, neither. He must be a very special rodent. He is, lady. He is. We give the creepy kids the monster in the box, the pet in the box. Guess what I have in here, guys? Is it a severed head? A crawling eyeball? <laughs> no, it's something better. It's the best, weirdest, creepiest pet in the world. Oh yeah? Look! to come up here and bring it yourself, lady. Yeah, come on up. <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. Don't do that. It'll be okay, little fella. Let's get out of here. And now we have the Gravedigger's Rat. We are almost done with the kids. We have, I think, one more interaction with them before uh, we are finished. Maybe two. That poor rat. Iggy! <laughs> Thank you, lady. Thank you so much. The only talent in the world is for digging. But I'll dig you a grave anywhere you want. Here, take this horse. I like the front of it shaped like a mouse, or a rat, there, rather. And I'll come and dig your grave. Okay? Come on, Iggy. Let's go fire that bad boy up.
it's a very confusing contraption. So we're going to leave him be for a second. Fairy departed. We are gathered here today to say goodbye to our friend, the kitty cat. Oh, boo-hoo! She was my bestest friend! It's so beautified when a kitty has to leave the world. So young. She was... Hush up, kitty! <laughs> in the prime of life. Uh, well, if only she hadn't been run over by an ox cart. If only she didn't get the plague. If only, if only we had a shovel! Run over by an ox cart and got the plague. That's 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 a pretty terrible way to go. Are you all right, little cat? I I think so. I know what you seek, my lady. I heard you speaking with my friend, Dr. Cadaver. The King of the Trolls is imprisoned in the home of the Boogeyman, beneath the Deadfall. Thank you! I must go to him at once! Wait! There's something I wish to give you. Hold out your hand. It is one of my lives, my lady. You saved one of mine, so I feel I owe it to you. I still have eight left. Oh, I couldn't possibly. You must. Alright, and we got one of her uh, extra lives. Okay. So now we're going to go to an area we... Actually, we're going to go this way. I forgot. I got to get one more thing. I got to get the shovel he doesn't need anymore. And I'm going to take a look at this. These symbols will, they show up a few different places here in Ooga Booga, uh, but the route I'm taking, this is the only place we'll see them. But the skull, the bat, and the spider, uh, it's important to remember that order. We're going to need it here in a few minutes. So right now we're going to go to a new area. We're going to go past our friend Mort Cadaver. Doesn't appear that he's home. <laughs> and I believe this is Lady Devish. And Mort Cadaver mentioned uh, very quickly that uh, Lord Devish over Ooga Booga was killed recently. And if we were to go talk to her right now, she kills you. Um, oh, there's the boogeyman. We gotta get out of here. Okay. So, you see this tree branch right here? Uh, that tree branch is currently up. We need to leave and come back until that branch is down. But everybody is scared of Lady Devish. She has literally cried her eyes out, and I do mean literally. And, uh, if she looks at you, you die. So we're just going to leave her alone. And there we have it. The branch is down. So we're going to use our Gravedigger's Horn to dig us a grave right there beneath the deadwood. 
exactly do you want me to dig? Right there. Oh, uh, jeez, lady. Are you sure? Are you positive? Yep. All right, if you insist, stand back, miss. There you go. I really don't advise you to go down there, miss. I'm out of here. And there goes our friend, the gravedigger. But of course we're going to go down there. That's, that's kind of our thing. And if we look at this lock, we see all these symbols. And if you remember, we I just showed you the skull, the bat, and the spider. The lock pops off. Hey, it's Majesty? the Troll King. King Otar? Yes, who... Hello, my little moles. I hope you two get along, since you're going to spend the next thousand years together. Oh no! Whatever shall we do? No! no! So, with Matilda's help, I sought you out, Your Majesty. You are a brave young woman, Princess. I am sorry things have taken such a dreadful turn. Don't worry, King Otar. I'm sure we'll find a way out. I like that the real King Otar is a different voice. It seems we'd best hurry up about it. Okay. So, we have his dragon toad, and we're going to give it to him. King Otar! Matilda said this thing was magical! My dragon toad! He could possibly dig us out! The jewel that brings him back to life is set in my armband! Blast! I can't pull it loose! But that's why we have this hammer and chisel. Matilda, we are coming. And if Malicia shows her evil face in the underground, Matilda must try to stall her for as long as possible. We're safe! Not for long, Princess. If we do not disguise ourselves, we will be discovered, and the consequences will be dire. Here, hold this object. Just so. Now, point it at me. Your Majesty, what have I done? Don't worry, Princess. I have changed myself into this form so that I may travel safely through this dark land. We must also hide you before... No! They got away! Quickly, Princess! Hide yourself! We need to get this cloak. And now we look like the Lady Devish. Everyone will think you're the Lady Devish. You look downright scary, my dear. Meanwhile, Otar has turned himself into the Scarab. Okay. So now we're going to exit the graveyard. We're going to go back up and we're going to go see Mr. Mort Cadaver once again. Here we go. Yeah. 
Yes? Oh, my dear Lady Tepish. Tish, tish, tish. Have you cried your eyes out again? Well, I'll replace them one more time, but that's it. I only have so many spare eyeballs, you know. Dr. Cadaver, it's me, Rosella. My dear Rosella, I'm happy to see you're still breathing. However, Malisha and her horrible gargoyle are hunting for you, so you best get out of Ooga Booga as fast as you can. We'd love to leave Ooga Booga, but the entrance to the underground has collapsed. It looks like it's sealed off for good. Oh dear, that is a problem. Did you say we? May I presume you mean yourself and your tapeworm? She does not. She is referring to me, King Otar Fedris III. I uh, see. Now, you'll have to leave through the main gate, but Malisha put that nasty swamp creature on guard. Well, uh, let me see. Maybe we'll find something helpful here. No, no, that won't work. Let me see. Uh, that one grows hair on bald werewolves. <laughs> that one grows new tentacles. Uh, that one makes your head fall off. What is it? It smells awful! It's a defoliant, my dear. It'll knock the leaves off any kind of creepy crawly plant you care to think of. Totally non-toxic to animals. That's the beauty of it. It's a wonder I found it. These shells do need organizing. <laughs> So now we have the defoliant. Alright. It is time for us to leave Ooga Booga. There's nothing else for us to do here. Now, we're coming up on what I think is the most frustrating part of this level. Um, you'll see what I mean here in a second. <laughs> that would be really satisfying. <laughs> okay. Now. These are defoliant on the swamp creature. Well done, princess. <coughs> Thank you, your majesty. Oh, I can't believe how that defoliant stinks. Fortunately, I have no nostrils at the moment. Okay. Now we have this wonderful Carnivorous creature. You sure look sweet, little bon bon. Nice uh, little shop of horrors reference there. So we have the uh, foot in a bag. We're going to toss to the carnivorous plants. And now we're also going to take this flower. And we're going to get out of here. Actually, I'm going to look at that flower. So it's just a fragrant flower. And we don't have to get that there. We can actually, there's another one we can get later on. Stop. We must talk, princess. Before us is the home of Malisha. We must be cautious, or we will never reach the Volcanics Underground. King Otar, what are we to do? 
We can't enter the underground at all now that the elevator's collapsed. How can we stop the volcano? I have heard of a secret entrance in the town of Folderol, although I know not exactly where. But now you must gather up your courage, for we have to find a way into Malisha's house. She stole from me a device that could possibly destroy her and save us all. We must recover it. Okay. We're just going to ignore the gargoyle, and because we're in our disguise still, he'll leave us alone for the moment. This is the most frustrating part. If I go back here and I hear a dog, I have to leave. Yep. And I have to keep coming back until I don't hear the dog anymore. And I've had this take several times doing this. This is one of the most frustrating parts of the game, is sometimes you you have to wait until a certain thing is a certain way on a screen, and then you have to keep going back until it's different. So I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. This is tedious. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's, it's annoying. But if I go in there while I hear that dog, I'll die. I believe if I interact with him, I'll die as well. Because that's the gargoyle that Mort could ever mentioned. I've actually never messed with him. Stupid dog. We're like three minutes of doing this. Come on, go away. I wonder if I can do part of this. Will 
you look at that? I think we found our way in. Excellent, Rosella. I still can't do anything until that dog goes away. I'm going to try going completely to a different screen and then back. Let's see if that changes it. Hey, that worked. All right, cool. Shovel. Okay. Here we are, Cuddle Poo. Mm, 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 mm. Home again to this awful, dreary, miserable little house. As opposed to where you were two minutes ago with the dog? Alright, so we're actually going to go back down because if we go up right now, we get caught. And if we use the defoliant on the dog. I love that shot. Warm, kissy boy. Would Cuddles feel better if we went out and found him someone to bite? Hmm? Would him? Oh. Anything my Cuddles wants, him gets. Okay. Now we can come out. Rosella, the thing we are looking for is a device made of brass and many lenses. It's an ancient and mysterious artifact. The only thing in Etheria that could destroy Militia. But she doesn't know that. It could be anywhere. And where it actually is is in the uh, underwear drawer. Third drawer down. This looks promising. This is comical. How odd. Pink corset. That's okay. Black nightgown. No comment. That's it. Take it quickly. This is the whole thing. How does it work? It must be plugged into a socket in the volcano control room <laughs> so that it may regain its power. If you need to plug it in. Until then, after the device is activated, it can be used to stop any living threat to Etheria. I don't know exactly what it will do. We'll find out soon enough, if we are fortunate. Gotta make sure we put all these back. Oh, dropped a stocking. This looks useful, not to mention ugly. All right. Now we're going to get out of here. Okay. We're going to get our robe back. So let's look at what we got here. We got a mysterious device. Looks like a toy my kids have. 
and uh, we got a woolen sock. Now, if you remember, the silver spoon that we had melted when we made the potion and left us with a silver pellet. We're going to combine that with the uh, sock, and we have a sling. Very important. Let's get out of here. All right. Now we're going to try to leave through here. But something's going to stop us. And there he is. A giant werewolf. Or werebear. Whatever he is. And we're going to hit him with a silver pellet. That worked. And our cape is gone. Now this should look familiar to everybody. And we are almost done. Um, I know this is a longer episode, but I'm trying to do one chapter per um, episode of Retro PC Theater. Just, just uh, not to have a thousand episodes. And to keep the continuity of, of what's happening. I love this guy. He's hilarious. Who goes there? Rosella of Daventry. Is this the town of Falderall? Yes, it is. But, but you can't come in here unless unless you bring me the uh, the, the levitating albino warthog of Rigatonia. <laughs> Levitating albino warthog of Rigatoni. Stop! You can't go through there. That door leads to a pit of salivating snakes. That's right, snakes. Oh well, I'm sure I'll prefer them to your company. And for some reason. Fifi La Yip Yip is losing his mind. Ooh, eat another one of those pink things. Hello, pink thing. Welcome to Folderol. I am Archduke Fifi La Yip Yip. And I am Rosella of Daventry. Rosella, your mother was here looking for you. We arrested her, but now we like her just fine. Enjoy your stay here. Be sure to take the photo shop with a grain of salt. <laughs> Mother? Well, all right then. Here? Arrested? No. No way. It couldn't be. So now bear in mind, timeline-wise, a lot of these things are happening simultaneously, so... We're seeing each person's story one at a time, but they're kind of happening like we're arriving here right after everything has happened with the Queen. I still don't understand what happens when you go to this door. I feel like it punches you, but I, I can't tell what it's doing. And this is boarded up. We can't go through there now. But what we need to pay attention to is actually this. It's all tarnished. I can't quite make it out. We're going to use our uh, woolen sock here. See if we can't clean that up a bit. That's doing the trick. I'll bet you could scour pots with this nasty old stocking. I'm a hungry little tot, but I don't want porridge cold or hot. I don't want bread, I don't want meat. My taste runs more to fruit, so sweet. If you give me what I need, you'll see me perform such a deed. The ground will shake, the waters part, 
and you can plunge into the heart of darkness, deep and pulsing fire. Feed me. Get what you desire. This took me the longest time to figure out. But this good old trusty hammer and chisel. If we look over here, there are some stone grapes on this pillar. It's a golden grape. That's it! That must be the entrance to the volcanics underground. Oh no, it's stuck! This would be a good time to see if we can bring back King Otar. Quickly, Your Majesty! The doorway is stuck part way open. Hurry before that horrible gargoyle finds us. Come on! There's no time to waste. Okay then. Apparently, jumping into holes and falling down things is our M.O. All right, then. We must hurry, Rosella. Imposter, you have destroyed us all. Well, okay then. So, next episode will be Chapter 5, Nightmare in Etheria. Uh, thanks for watching um, and sitting through all of that. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to go ahead and make a save. And I will see you next time on Retro Peace Theater. Bye, guys.